Hello! We're in the mood to eat some food. Oh. So <laughs> it's a good thing that we're trying all the Trader Joe's new items in this week's new item taste test from Trader Joe's, of course. So we have lots of fun things. I'm looking at a little mini charcuterie board and it's very mini, but it has yummy stuff on it, cheese and apples. And then we have- I'm looking at the beers. You're looking at the beers, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We have beers to try and surprise, Ooh. surprise, we are trying the Corvelia Zinfandel wine. This is something I talked about in the haul and I'm so excited to try. So stay tuned, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and let's get right into it. We are feeling real loosey goosey and we haven't had anything to drink. Um, we're just foot, like what, kid free, foot loose and fancy free? <laughs> Something like um, that. <laughs> I'm in a rhymey mood today. I know. <laughs> Dr. Seuss I'm just here. in a good mood. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've had a great day. Benson had a good day at school. And now we are here alone with very quiet, peaceful sounds of our dogs panting in the background. So um, let's get right into it with the taste test. We're going to try all the hot food first. And we're going to start with the first thing on the menu is the autumn vegetable and white bean gratin. Gratin. So let's give this a try. This is yeah. Chunky Monkey, by the way. There's lots of chunks in here. And um, well, I think I just got a yeah. massive chunk of cauliflower, which, yum. <laughs> okay, what's your opinion? Mm, pretty good. Um, mm, really? Yeah. I love it. I think it's delicious. There's a lot of veggies in it for sure. Which is why I love it, but it's also <laughs> like packed with flavor. It's warm. I feel like this is a comfort food. For me, this is like a total comfort food. I could literally just eat a bowl of this and be totally content, but that's the vegetarian in me. I'm sure you would want like something That's on the side. That's definitely a side. That is not a main dish. <laughs> well, you know vegetarians have sides. I know. I know the, how <laughs> it roll. works, but that is a side for <laughs> anybody else. Um, I wouldn't be able to eat that straight. I would get sick of it, but I did like it. I thought it had a good flavor. It's got that like cheesiness, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, definitely cheesy. cheesy, creamy, yep. uh, mixed with the vegetables. Uh, which had a, a pretty good cr crisp crunch to it. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I enjoyed it. I, I did think it was pretty good, but this is a side for me. <laughs> I agree with Tim. Creamy was the first thing that came to mind when I first tasted this, and it has all of the like yummy flavors, and you have something to bite into. So it's not like a big bowl of mush. I think that is not appetizing, and it's not appealing texturally, but this having the big chunks of cauliflower in it, the butternut squash, and... There are, um, what is it, white beans, I guess. I haven't seen the butter beans in here, but I do see the skins, which at first I thought were um, noodles. <laughs> but I butter think they're, beans. yeah. Oh. They're the white beans, I think. So anyway. Yeah, pretty good. Really I, good. I think it's a good, uh, good start. Now we're gonna move on to, uh, I'm gonna try the next thing. It does have animal red in it, so Katie won't be trying it, but this is the four cheese raviolis. Yeah. Um, and these are like reformulated, is that right? So we're calling them new? Well, okay, so these are organic now. So not necessarily yeah. reformulated. They're not the same as they once were because they weren't organic before. Although I believe there was an organic four cheese now that I'm thinking about it. Wasn't there for like a blip? No clue. But I talked to the order writer who, who writes this order and he told me that as far as anyone's concerned, this is a brand new item. It's okay. a new supplier which means it will be slightly different. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a try. And I cooked this, um, which is, I just cooked it in boiling water and then I just did a little olive oil with some Parmesan on top so Tim could really taste the cheesy flavor. I want him to give the overview of the ravioli and not the sauce. It's good. Um, it's straightforward. It has a, a very clean taste to it. Um, yeah. Like the cheese has a good flavor. Um, the ravioli just uh, is a good texture, good um, mouth feel, if you will. <laughs> um, but I think it's good. I like these raviolis. I think they're they're pretty delicious, and um, they don't need a sauce. But I would, you know, when I make them next time, I would have some type of sauce in there just to add a little bit of flavor to it because it's a little bit mild. But okay. the cheese flavor does come through, which is nice, and it's it's a good cheese flavor. Okay, you think like a tomato based sauce, like yeah, for the acidity with like the good balance of acidity and the cheese. Yeah, I would I would lean towards like pink sauce just because that's how that's I roll, you. that's I who I am. But um, but yeah, it's good. 
if just with olive oil and, and Parmesan cheese, it's great, but um, adding a tomato-based sauce would be pretty good too. And I think it's funny, I'm totally calling you out right now, that you like cut these raviolis when they're totally bite-sized for you. Uh, I, I guess <laughs> it's just habit. They're smaller um, than the other ones previously, and they're like perfect bite size for Tim. So I know like he'll be eating them just like one raviolis at a time. I'm called out, but I didn't even know that I was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just unlike you to cut something like that. So I just thought it was <laughs> unique for you. <laughs> Um, okay, let's get into let's let's pour beer. Okay. I think that we need to pour beer, but I think we should try the Oktoberfest because sure. it doesn't have a flavor yet, and we're gonna try the Spanish rice next. So and after that, we've got the early bird French toast milk stout. That thing is probably gonna be packed with flavor. So and the banana bread too. I want to end on the banana bread though, because I think I'm really looking forward to that one. Me too. What about the it's wine? Like, oh. We have to end with the wine, I think. But let me go get a little opener and we'll be I'll be right back. All right, so this is the Oktoberfest Marzen, and I'm probably botching that German name. I should have asked my one of my mates is German and she even has like the German accent and everything. She's the sweetest. I should have asked her how to pronounce this. She would have Is given it like me, Marzipan? Like is there some type of I don't know. There's two dots next on the top of the A, so I don't know what sound that makes. So it says it's an authentic Bavarian festival lager. So if it's a festival lager, it's probably award winning. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I love it. You do? I do. That's a good beer. It's different. I like it a lot. I do. I like it too. It's crisp, but it has a lot of flavor too. It's interesting. I don't know. I, I, I think it's just a great beer. It definitely does taste like an Oktoberfest beer. Um, yeah, it does. And yeah, I mean, festival beer, beer I guess they call it. But <laughs> um, yeah, rich, full body, delicious, great tasting beer. It doesn't have any type of synthetic weirdness to it. And uh, I am going to probably ask you to get more of these. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And also, I just wanted to mention, it says it's amber colored, which it definitely is. Right when you poured it in, you could see it's very amber colored, rich and full bodied. Um, yeah, so I think this is a oh, this is a family brewery, family operated and owned since 1878. So they better have gotten also, it right. They're brand new. <laughs> yeah, they're brand new to the beer making business. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's a definitely a delicious beer. It has a lot of flavor and um, it's great for Oktoberfest. So Tim's giving it two thumbs up. Yes, I am. Um, I just did two. <laughs> I did the peace sign. Uh, okay, we're moving on to the Spanish rice. This is something I'm so looking forward to trying. I smelled this coming out of the microwave and woo, it smells good. Ooh, it does. Yep, this yep. is bomb. Uh huh. Ah, oh, finally they've got some Spanish rice, some real Spanish rice. I know. This is incredible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, now talking about sides that you can have for meals, I think I could yeah. just eat the rice straight. I could do. <laughs> for sure. I mean, it's it, got an insane flavor. It's so good. Yeah, maybe maybe uh, a little side of you know refried beans on there. Yeah. With this rice. Uh, or in and a burrito. Anything else. Absolutely in a burrito. Mm -hmm. This is so good. This is just like restaurant style Spanish rice. It really is. It's and it has an ins it's really good flavor. I feel like I taste a little bit of um, uh, paprika in this. I have a little paprika flavor, um, and wow. also. I was expecting it to have kind of a spicy kick, but it doesn't. It has that paprika spice, if you know what I mean, like that mm -hmm. kind of flavor, um, but it's really good. And the rice is cooked to perfection, and I just love Trader Joe's microwavable rice. I will always, always, forever want to buy that, even if I make a lot of rice at home, but it never compares. It never does, no matter how many tricks of the trade I've done, I've tried it all. It doesn't ever compare to the microwave rice. So, and I've heard a lot of people in the comments say the same thing. They're like, I agree, because it does. It it's just good. doesn't. So, um, all right, well, we're gonna move on. We do have a, like I said, the little charcuterie, but I think we should go into the next beer. Okay. I feel like the charcuterie is gonna be better with the wine. All right, so let's get into it, because I'm really excited to try this. This is the banana bread beer. Yay. Um, it was, these, these cans are so cute and little. Uh, it still, <laughs> it still says it has 11.2 US fluid ounces. Um, which is kind of weird. Oh, because you know why? It's a product of England. Oh, they probably have different, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, maybe they have different sizes because yeah. I think 12 ounces is the standard. Cause it's when not I, metric, that's for sure. It's not... Yeah, I don't know. A, yeah. um, 
Tim pulled it out and he was like, these look smaller. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know. And then and I mean, especially next to this like basically well, tall yeah. boy, it's like <laughs> looks miniature. But I just feel like this thing could I could just fit my whole palm around it. This and... is the perfect representation. <laughs> England, America. <laughs> This is actually a lot darker than I was expecting. This is once again, like more of an ambery color. Ooh, it smells like banana bread. <laughs> wow, it really does. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's very fruity. It is fruity. It doesn't even, it tastes, doesn't taste like a beer really, does it? No, not really. Uh, but it's not gross. Like I still really like it. I'm not was not let down. Oh, I like it a lot. But yeah. I think some people will absolutely despise this beer. Beer lovers. Probably beer lovers or yeah. people that just don't like the banana flavor because it definitely has that. I'm gonna say it again: the laffy taffy banana. It has <laughs> yeah, a little I bit was, of that flavor. You didn't need to say it to me. I already felt because it, already it, felt it's that. naturally flavored, which means that it's it's synthetic flavor. It's not real. It's delicious, so, delicious chemicals. Yeah, it's well. basically chemicals, but it's so good. Like, I really like it. I love these chemicals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's sweet. It's uh, smooth. Mm -hmm. um, it is a little creamy. Yeah, it's easy to drink. And overall, just a really good beer. So I like it. Uh, if you like banana, you'll probably really like this beer. If you don't, don't even mess, don't even waste your time. Yeah, agreed. It's really good. Now we're moving on to the most interesting man in the world. I mean, beer in the world. This is the early bird. So why I say it's like the most interesting beer, I'm just going off that, what's that commercial? Dos Equis. Yeah. Yeah, most interesting man. That's funny. It's another beer commercial. But this is why I think it's so interesting is because, listen to this, it's a French toast milk stout, but they don't stop there. Here's how it makes it. Oh, no, they don't. Yeah, this is what makes it a French toast stout. It has milk stout brewed with maple syrup, coffee, cinnamon, and chemicals, natural flavors. <laughs> so um, this is gonna taste probably crazy. I'm like so excited for this. I'm so curious. Like, how is this going to taste? It's probably going to be dark. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, well, of course, it's a stout. Stout, it's, yeah. It's to be expected. I'm just like, what is this going to taste like? A French toast milk stout. Oh, my gosh. Stout. Smell it. All right. So, we're going to give this a whirl and see how it tastes. Wow. I taste the coffee. It definitely tastes like coffee. Yeah. It is, um, you, you, if you ever had a dark beer, there's that dark beer flavor. Obviously. Yeah, but it's But the French toast flavor does come through. It's good. It's it's a lot better than I was expecting. It's... I took a tiny little sip because I was a little scared, but it's good. <laughs> I took a big sip and actually like the more I sip on it, the better it gets. It's like it's yeah. layered. So you drink mm -hmm. one sip and you're like, okay, and then you drink another sip and you're like, oh, this is actually really good. And now I'm like, okay, this is actually really delicious. I I'm am not surprised. a stout drinker, I know. but I mean, I keep saying that about things and then we, we're we <laughs> continuously trying things and it really does open your palate up. No, it's a really good beer. I was I was very pleasantly surprised by it and, um, That's you know. That's an easy to drink one. It's an easy to drink stout, yeah. which is like an oxymoron in my, in my book, <laughs> but not today. Well, the French toast, they nailed it. It did definitely, uh, the coffee flavor by far comes through the most. Yeah. Um, the maple, I have like a little hint in the back end of the maple flavor. Yeah. And what, the cinnamon? I don't know. Maybe it just yeah. all blends together. It does. It does blend together, but it's yeah. there for sure. Yeah. So anyways, if you guys want a really fun one, this is fantastic. Actually, all the beers we tried were really good today. All winners, so yeah. if you're uh, in the mood for like some heavier, like fun beers, try it. Try the banana and, bread. And they're all three different too. So if, totally different. If you are like a single beer type of person, and you're like, I like one kind <laughs> type of beer. You're not gonna like all three of these because they're all so different. But, but keep an open mind. Yeah, maybe you sure. will. Maybe yeah, you will. they're all good on their own in their own uh, their own right. So. <laughs> Another winner. We're gonna go ahead and pour the Corvelia Zinfandel. Now, if you miss the haul or you just don't watch it and you watch this instead, this wine is a limited buy. It is only available one time a year. Yes, you heard me, one time a year. And if you're like, wait, hold on, Katie. You showed the Corvelia wine way back when, but this year, of course I did, because that was the cab. This is the Zinfandel. This is a totally different wine, and it is only available right now. So if you want to get your hands on it, and you want to try it, you've got to run out and get it now and stock up, because you won't get it again until next year. So that's my little spiel. Now something I noticed, this is 14.5% 
Can you believe it? It sounds like a quite a heavy, high percentage, I should say, wine. So <laughs> I'm gonna just keep pouring then. Um, just kidding, here you go. Thank you. And I'm just gonna set this down, let it breathe. We're gonna go ahead and try the apple because we have these amazing sweetie apples that we're gonna try. They're crisp, sweet, and blushing with flavor. And it also says it's Gala's sweeter, crunchier cousin. So it's a Gala apple, but it is from something else. So uh, a new strain or something. Strain? I think well, I think they crossbred two apples. They were talking about it in one of the huddles at my work and they were saying how they like crossed two strains of apples and they made this one. But it's not uh, GMO or anything like that. It's just... Crossbred? Crossbred. <laughs> not to be mistaken with inbred. Okay, let's try okay. it. Okay. <laughs> oh. Mmm. These wow. are sweet. These are really good. Really good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. These are incredible. Yes, they are. Okay, I'm gonna have to buy another bag of these. Um, if you see these at your store, the Sweetie Apples, buy them because they're so crispy and they're so sweet. Like ben the name suits them very well. Yeah. Benson's gonna love those when he comes back home. He'll love them. Yeah. Uh -huh. If they're not gone by the time you get back. <laughs> no promises. Mm. So now that we love the apple, we're going to move on to the cheese. So we have the cheese that both of us are trying because Tim's not trying the truffle cheese tonight. No, I am He'll not. He'll sniff it though. Um, we're trying this sage derby and this is a an English cheddar blended mm. with sage and spinach. And it smells pretty strong. It kind of reminds me of the Kerrygold cheese. If we were to light this on fire and go around the house, would we rid our house of any evil spirits? No, we don't have evil spirits. It has sage. But it does, we don't have evil spirits, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Mm. Mm. This is grilled cheese worthy. Interesting. I wasn't thinking grilled cheese. I was thinking like like a pasta sauce. Doesn't it taste like, mm. a, like a pasta That's sauce? That's a good idea. Like, even just like grating it up oh, on bomb. top of the that's pasta, so good. it's really good. Wow, I love that cheese. That's a really good cheese. It yeah. has a lot of like flavor to it too, and you're not just getting cheese flavor. So a lot of these cheeses that have like a blend in them, you're still tasting major cheese, but this one, you taste the cheese, you taste the spinach, you taste the herbs. Like it is, I taste the sage. I think I, yeah, I don't I even know what sage thing. smells like, but I feel like I. I do, because the way it tasted. No, oh, yeah, that's what sage tastes yeah. like. Yeah, yeah, I've never had it before. I don't but think. it's a really good mix with a spinach, because sage can sometimes taste, like, for me, when I think of sage, I think of stuffing, like Thanksgiving stuffing, because sage is used in that. Oh, really? I, yeah. I didn't know that. And um, I am just, like, I think it's a really good blend, and it has so much flavor, and I still am tasting it on my tongue. Are you? Yeah. Well, I, I like, had my banana be bread beer, so it kind of replaced that oh, okay. flavor, but yeah, I still Well, think. it's lingering in my mouth, and it tastes like, I just, I'm still tasting all those flavors, like they don't go away. And the sage flavor is definitely probably the most dominant flavor in this one, but you definitely can taste the spinach and the cheese, and yeah. it's a really good blend. So... If you like those two flavors, definitely check it out. You know, I feel like we have to tell everybody that's watching that we don't always like everything. Well, yeah, you're not even <laughs> trying the truffle cheese. Oh, because it's going to be disgusting. <laughs> I hate truffle. <laughs> okay. But like we have we have been like on a roll today. Everything yeah, has been great. this taste test is great. Yeah. So last week was kind of weak because it was like just <laughs> some beverages and stuff and like man whatever this week is fun i'm like so excited it has all the good stuff including wine which i think we should try let's move on so we're trying the zinfandel let's do it oh baby that's amazing oh that's good oh that's good i don't have to buy more <laughs> that tastes like the wine from our winery i know that's better better <laughs> i almost want to say i don't know if it's open up this is Fantastic. Oh my gosh, this is good. It really is. What does it say is in here? You always nail it, what's in here. I was thinking like notes of vanilla, but I don't see anything like that in here. Mm. It doesn't really give a I don't a know, but this is the profile. smoothest wine. I'm not even kidding you guys. This yeah. wine is so smooth. I definitely give this wine like every thumbs up I could. Out of every wine we've tried this year, I'm telling you right now, that's the best. That is the best. I'm saying uh, it right now. 
That's that's fair. Honestly, that is fair this, because yeah. it's really good. This might take up my number one spot at Trader Joe's, and I'm so sad it's only once a year, but that makes it so much more exciting. Just load up. It's not like you're gonna do that. I, I'm gonna <laughs> load up. Trust me. I, this is like our Christmas wine. I feel like this is it. This it might is be. the wine. This is this. She is the one. She is the winner. I love her. <laughs> Just so good. All right, now that I have my palette just so happy, I'm gonna go ahead and try the Toma Truffle Cheese. So this is, right when I open it, it smells real truffly. Wanna give it a sniff? Nope. Uh, oh God. <laughs> Jeez. Um, it definitely is truffly. Oh. So I'm gonna try this and I'll let you guys know. Yeah, it's truffly. Mmm, this is good. Oh my I like gosh. It. I like it. I couldn't tell you that I know I would have hated that. I, no way. That's well, too strong. <clears throat> unfortunately for you, the cheese, the quality of the cheese is fantastic. That's fine. It's a really delicious cheese. I don't know exactly what cheese it is. It might say it on there, but I didn't see it on the front as prominent as I would like to have seen it, but I feel like it is, maybe it's a cheddar or something, but it is delicious. I love this cheese and I'm and I'm definitely on the middle of the road when it comes to truffle. Like I'm not a huge truffle lover. I'm also not a truffle hater, but um, if, it, if anything's way too truffly for me, I'm just like meh. This one definitely has a bold truffle flavor, but the cheese mixed with it really helps tone it down and it's so good. So give me a kiss. No. <laughs> Maybe in a few hours. <laughs> um, I probably have trouble breath. I can taste it. But yeah, delicious cheese. What a quality cheese. Honestly, both of those, fantastic. The wine, Everything. honestly, wow. Surprise! We look a little different because it's the next day and I totally forgot to include the new hand pies that came into Trader Joe's. I'm going to show you the box. These are the apple and pumpkin hand pies and... I totally forgot to include that in the haul. So um, if you guys watch this video, lucky you, you get the full, you know, rundown of everything. So I did bake these little hand pies in the oven. And since they're called hand pies, we're going to hold them with our hands and what try else? them. Ooh, there's lots of chunky wow. apple in here. This looks delicious. Okay. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Definitely needs some vanilla ice cream on the side. <laughs> you know, it does. So it tastes a little bit like pumpkin pie, but also I think more so like apple pie. Mm. Um, and the combination actually works. I know it does. It's really good. Yeah, I agree. Mm. Wow. Heat it up nice and warm. So yummy. Um, I like it. There's like chunks of apple in there and you get yeah. like that pumpkin pie flavor and it's, it's a great combo. I'm so happy that we... Forgot this and then we remembered <laughs> um, because these are really good. So uh, if you want to get these at Trader Joe's, they're in the, like the bakery section um, and you just heat them up for like eight minutes in the oven. Super easy. And by the way, I wasn't kidding when I said we were going to get more Zinfandel. We ran out last night to Trader Joe's literally at 8.15. The store closes at 9.00. I got another bottle of Zinfandel after we went out to dinner because we loved it so much. And I'll probably pick up another one next time I'm at work just so I have a good st back stock supply for um, the holidays. So thank you guys and we'll get back to the normal programming. This whole taste test, out of the park. Perfect. You can't go wrong with anything you choose, but if you are going to choose one, go with the wine if you're a wine drinker. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, that's that's the winner. And these apples too. I mean, the apples, incredible. I think I would just be content drinking wine and eating apples, honestly, with a little bit of cheese on the side. So having said that, that is it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We had so much fun, right? I did. Yeah, teamwork. Um, so yeah, if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed because the holidays are right around the corner and things are gonna start popping up really quick. So I don't want you guys to miss out every year I say it, but just keep keep that on your top of mind. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye, it's a Halloween video Monday.